Namaste. Hey everybody. Happy Easter. So I have Jesus here in the background watching over this read. And here he is again on the candle. So today is Easter and I know that all of you are out there celebrating Easter with your family, doing Easter egg hunts, um, cooking food for your delicious Easter dinner. Um, but I figured uh, today is, of all days, one of the best days that I could uh, pick to do a high vibrational video. And I'm sending high vibrations and unconditional love out to all of you out there. And I thought that I would just do a, a high vibrational read today. I'm feeling in the energy that that's very much needed. I had, I, before I started, I had a really quick, weird, bleh, sorry. <laughs> I have something I wanted to say real quickly. So I had an, a second and a night, second night in a row. I had a visit. See, there is my throat chakra having a hard time. Say, that's a good thing. I'm wearing the blue, huh? Uh, second night in a row, I had a visit from Miss Oakley Carlson. Um, last night's visit was was actually in a very weird different way that I've ever experienced her and it didn't feel like it had anything to do really well it did but it didn't really have anything to do with her situation per se um all honestly it actually felt more like a an awareness that she was trying to bring to me and um just um kind of showing me her own uh, feelings of betrayal by her family and what that had done to her and um, how um, how harmful and painful that was for her and basically telling me that she so um, understands and relates to me on that level um, as that is something that has happened to me with my family in my life. And also it came with a little warning that there are still some betrayals happening and to keep my eyes wide open for that. So. I just wanted to share that I am doing I am going to absolutely heed her advice um, I feel like Oakley has definitely ascended she is in heaven and she's also decided to come down and help out a few people it feels like that felt like help to me so I feel like maybe she's decided to join my um, my spirit guides and even if it was just you know in a temporary way it's beautiful and I'm so grateful for that and I can feel her energy so strongly right now. It's just beautiful. So um, I'm going to say Happy Easter to all of the beautiful children that are not here to celebrate with their families. Summer, um, obviously Oakley, Summer, Michael, Harmony, um, all of the ones, um, Serenity, um, and I know I'm forgetting a ton of them, just all of the beautiful babies that are no longer with us on this planet, um, happy Easter and just know that, that you guys are in our hearts and in our minds and um, that you matter to us. Okay, so before I start the prayer, because I'm going to do a special Easter prayer, I'm going to do a little bit of cleansing of the area, this read the area, anyone watching. We'll start with some Palo Santo. I just want to say, wasn't Jesus so wonderful and beautiful to have made the sacrifice that he did for us um, to forgive, forgive us of our sins before we even made them? All right. I'm asking that only beings of love and light and high vibrational uh, energy to come in and react in this read with me. In this here and now moment, as I am about to tap into source consciousness, into the highest good, <clears throat> as I ask the only divine source light, <clears throat> excuse me, highest good, being to serve the Christ consciousness, to serve the source consciousness, expressions of source consciousness beings, all of our soul family, everyone for our highest good, you're welcome to participate today, sharing um, the messages that I am feeling so compelled to share with my beautiful subs who I love so much and who are my family. So um, we're safe, we're protected, 
we're able to gather whatever information <clears throat> that we need that serves our highest good. So it is. I have experienced a few trolls lately. I, it's like the first time for me. And definitely feel like I need to clear the energy because of that. It's been kind of weird. And also too, I still have Tina with me today. Um, my little friend that spent the day with me yesterday. We made unicorn cookies and did all kinds of artwork all day. So if you hear her talking and chit chat in the background, that's what, that's what that is. I'm gonna pull a little sage out as well. I have some high vibrational um, elevate your vibration medication music going in the background. I hope that's not too loud. Maybe I'll turn it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start with an Easter prayer. Lord, how can we ever thank you enough? You endured more pain, more shame, more sorrow, more grief than we can ever possibly fathom. Help us today to remember why you gave your life. Because of love. Because of mercy. Because we desperately need both and do not deserve the pain and the anguish and the negativity that comes our way. <laughs> Thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus to us, save us from our sins. Thank you that you loved us enough to send a perfect sacrifice so that we could live together eternally. I confess that I am a sinner. I need forgiveness. I ask you to come into my heart. And I commit to, the following, to following Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Lord, you love this world. You love us all so much that you gave your one and only son that we might be called your children to. Lord, help us to live in this gladness and grace of Easter Sunday every day. Let us have hearts and souls that are forever grateful for your sacrifice. Let us have eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice deeply in our salvation. Help us to walk in that mighty grace and tell your good news to the world, all for your glory. I pray through Jesus' name, amen. Okay, that was just a little special something something for Easter. I'm going to move that out of the way. We're going to do a little bit of sound, a little bit of vibrational coming into alignment here. Please join me as I ring the doorbell. I feel like he answered the doorbell. <laughs> okay, so I have a little bit of what I chose today um, is cedar. Cedar um, in my incense here. Cedar wards off negativity. Okay, so I picked a few crystals today. Um, three. And the first ones I'm going to show are... These are two of the same. Selenite. Selenite is a very powerful healing crystal. I was just talking to a sister last night about selenite, Miss Andrea Wheatley, one of her favorite stones. Selenite promotes healing, promotes peace and calm, mental clarity and well-being. 
It is believed by some that this crystal can remove negative energy and help you connect to higher realms. So what better of a crystal to help raise our vibration and take us up to those higher realms? Selenite. I have selenite all over my house. All over. I'm not kidding. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's in my car. It's in my house. It's everywhere. Okay. The next one I chose is strawberry quartz and strawberry quartz radiates the energies of universal love in your life so that you can direct it towards yourself and others so i'm directing the love guys directing the universal love to you yes i am isn't that beautiful this crystal will stimulate your heart energy center which is another reason why i chose it working on my heart it fills you with love and bliss and a genuine a genuinely loving brings about a genuinely loving environment isn't that beautiful love it okay guys and the last one I'm gonna show today is what more and better appropriate what stone could I pick but a lapis Easter egg and this is my new one my new crystal isn't it beautiful I just love it so much the Sumerians believe that the spirit of their gods lived within this stone. Well, the e ancient Egyptians saw it as a symbol of the night sky. Since the earliest of times, lapis lazuli has been associated with strength, courage, royalty, wisdom, intellect, and truth. And I just love it. And since it's a little egg, I figured it would be perfect for this day. All right. And I did get a little stand to put it on and it works just perfect. Do you need to come in here, Tina? What? Okay, well, I'm really busy right now, so you're gonna have to wait, okay? When I'm all done with this, then I'll come and play with you again. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off with some prayers from Archangel Michael. Let's see what kind of prayer is appropriate for this Easter Sunday high vibrational read. Archangel Michael. There it is, poking right out. Did you see that? Okay. The prayer we or the card we got is use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Oh wow. That is very appropriate for me because I do have some questions about some things in my mind lately. So I'm being told to use my imagination and I'll find the answer. Okay. The prayer from Archangel Michael is, Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. It says to describe the situation, but that's private, so I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay, and I'm going to go for, the next one I'm going to go for is some angel answers. Angel answers. So, angels, what answers do you have? What beautiful message or answers do you have today for everybody that is watching my Easter Sunday High Vibrational Read? Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. And considering I just mentioned her, the card we got is harmony. We've got to be able to find harmony, you guys. We've got to be able to find harmony with each other. Harmony is a very high vibrational state and, um, and choice to make. Um, I believe in this. I believe in harmony. And I try to... Uh, show that I try to show harmony and I try in accepting everybody loving everybody that shows me love and this, that um, Harmony is reciprocating that love that is shown to you and I do my very best to do that I do my very best to have that high vibrational state of harmony in my life and in the people in my life That is beautiful. Does that not look like little harmony? What? Love it. 
Love it, you guys. Love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the ancestors. I don't know why, but my eyes just keep getting pulled. Maybe it's just because it's right in front of me. I don't know. But let's see what the ancestors have to say to us on this Easter Sunday. Easter is the day that Jesus was resurrected. What kind of what kind of messages do the ancestors have? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. We got protection guardian. They're saying to drop your shields. Protection guardian. They're saying to drop your shields. And you know what? I get it. Yes, we need to drop some of our shields, at least for today, because this is Easter Sunday. And uh, the shields that we put up against each other do not create harmony. They do not. Um, sometimes they're necessary. Absolutely, I understand that. But sometimes we, um, our past traumas do cause us to put up too many shields. And we become isolated from the world isolate others who love us and sometimes we need to realize that the shields that we protect we put up for ourselves individually do not have to be the same shields that others put up for themselves it's an individual thing i believe isn't that a beautiful card look at those wings look at the chakra colors i just love this card protection guardian that's, I feel like my grandma is my protective guardian, and she's always with me, showing me love, and um, I know I speak a lot about how um, my family basically betrayed and abandoned me, discarded me, cast me out. This was one, the one, that did not do that to me. This is the one I went to, always. I remember one time as a young child, I literally left my house and walked all the way across town all by myself. Back then it was a little bit safer to do such a thing. <laughs> but I walked all the way across town to get to my grandma's house, crying my eyes out the whole way. And when I got there, I knew that when I got there that it was everything was going to be okay. And it was. All right, protection guardian. Drop your shields. Okay. Let's try the work your light oracle. This oracle deck was given to me by Romero, so lovingly. Oop. Okay. Looks like that we got two. All right. The first one, inner temple, devotion. Tune in to the portal of your heart. Devotion. What a high vibrational state. Devotion, to be devoted to each other. Tune into each other's hearts. Sometimes that means we have to look beyond our own state of being to love others and realize that um, others need love. Um, and devotion is a rare thing these days. To be devoted is a rare thing. So any and all of you guys out there who are devoted to me, who are devoted to true, unconditional, loving High vibrational energy directed towards me. I am devoted to you. And I'm devoted to you by doing this read today on Easter Sunday. Devotion. Tuning in to the portal of your heart. I'm sorry, I had to turn it a bit to read it again. All right. Devotion. Beautiful. The next one. <clears throat> the crumbling. Ooh, what are you clinging to? The crumbling, what are you clinging to? That's a very odd looking card. That's like a doorway. Or a castle. A castle with an open doorway? This card is telling me I need to stop clinging to all that pain and all of that, um, those feelings of being discarded, being... Um, underappreciated, being doubted. Those are all negative, low vibrational feelings. And crumbling down to those things is low vibrational. It's okay, honey. 
you can come through. I'm, it's okay. This Everybody understands that this reading will be interrupted today. Sorry about that. My husband needs to come for, in for some coffee. Anyways, the crumbling. Very good. So, um, yeah, let go. Let go of those low vibrational, negative, hurtful, painful feelings and energies that exist in your life. And you can feel them. You know when they're there. You know. And it's it's saying, you know, don't cling on to those. Don't do not do that. Um, because the thing is, is it, when you do that, you bring your vibration low down to that negative low vibrational state. And you don't want to do that. Which is another thing I was talking with Miss Andrew Wheatley about last night. I believe that she understands that. Clinging on to low vibrational situations and energies is nope it's not okay it's not good we don't want to do that we want to raise the vibration we want to raise the vibration that's at least i do that's my my soul pathway and i'm hoping if that's what you want to do if you're actually sitting here watching me so yeah very good love that one and i'm gonna go for the starseed oracle next all right Starseed Oracle. Let's see what the Starseed Oracle holds for us today on this Easter Sunday. Now that one just kind of came flying out on its own. I actually feel that energy in that card. So let's see what it says. Earthed. Learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. Wow. I understand that. As human beings, we have to be here. We have no choice. We're earthed. But we don't have to be part of the low negative, low vibrational type things that the earth holds. So that's a great one. That's a great message from the Starseed Oracle. We are part of the earth. And we're here. We are earthed. But we don't have to remain in a low vibrational state or um, become attached to low vibrational energy. We need to raise our vibrations. Um, because we're only here on earth for a very short period of time. Very short period of time. And when that time is over and we go back to God, we want to be able to say, you know, how, how hard we try to remain high vibrational and loving. And uh, how we help to try to lift people up and not tear them down. And, oop, I dropped it. I dropped it to the earth. Anyways, that's what I'm feeling intuitively off that. And I'm feeling really strong energy off that card. So we, we're part of the earth, but um, we don't have to remain tethered to the negative energies that kind of dwell around. Let's be high vibrational from the earth. Do you see the little, little fairy sitting in the crystal? Uh, she's sitting on a crystal and a bubble. Which happens to be a nickname that one of my subscribers gave me was Bubbles. I love it. I love it when you guys give me nicknames. Just so you know, I actually really love my nicknames. Enjoy them so much. It makes me feel really good. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to do the Lightworkers Tarot. Let's get a message for the Lightworkers today on this Easter Sunday. I gotta turn this one this way because this deck is so wide my hands aren't big enough to hold it. I probably I expect I probably won't get many views on this one, at least maybe today, just because it's Easter and everybody has family stuff to do, which I fully respect and it and ooh, that one's pulled out right there. Alright. Okay, we get fifth ray of intellectual knowledge fifth ray of intellectual knowledge wow look at that intellectual knowledge fifth ray yeah there are people around us who don't um who don't understand our high vibrational state or they don't align with it that's okay they will in their own time we just got to keep raising our own vibration and hopefully they'll follow absolutely intellectual knowledge i feel like um, I'm trying to spread some knowledge 
as far as how to raise your high vibrations, um, or raise your vibrations high, sorry. And, and all I can do, all I can offer is my own experiences and my own intuition into the matter. And if that serves anybody any good whatsoever at all, then I feel like I've done my job. So yeah, that's beautiful. Be careful though, guys. Careful. We do have a guide. This kind of talks to us and speaks to us in our ear. We have guides. You listen to those guides. Because they want everything for our highest good. They want us to raise our vibrations up to them. So it's important to listen to them. Okay, I am sweating. It is really super hot in my house right now. And I'm wearing this beautiful, new, um, gorgeous sweater that Mystic Brady got for me. The fact that Mystic Brady, the fact that you took time out of your life, left your home, went out into the world where everything is so scary and unpredictable and low vibrational, and, and went looking for something for me, directly for me, that means so much to me. That means so much to me. And I just want you to know I love you for that. I love this. It's so soft and comfy. But I am sweating up a storm <laughs> in it. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm not taking it off. Okay. So the next one I'm going to pull is some whispers of... This is whispers of healing, right? Oh no, this is mystical wisdom. Sorry. Let's do mystical wisdom. What kind of mystical wisdom shall we get today on Easter Sunday? Mystical wisdom. What kind of mystical wisdom? This is another one that's hard for me to shuffle in that way. So we pull, we'll pull sideways. Sideways. Mystical wisdom. I want this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> we got memories look how beautiful that is i love josephine wall's artwork so much memories memories are important very important for many reasons sometimes our memories are hurtful but we are also we can use those hurtful memories as lessons we can use those hurtful memories as um as a grounding point to start where we can work our vibration higher from there. And when we have memories that aren't as beautiful as some, we put those in comparison to our beautiful memories. And it raises our vibration when we do that because we realize things get better. Things, good things happen. Vibrations rise, good things happen. And the memories help us with that. One example I have in my mind right now is... I have bad memories from my first marriage, really bad memories. But those memories help me to appreciate the new, beautiful, loving memories that I am creating with my my husband now. So use your memories to raise your vibration. Yes, I love that. Beautiful. And cherish the, the memories of your loved ones. Cherish the memories of your loved ones. That is so important. I cherish the memories of my mother. I cherish the memories of anyone who has ever showed me love. Memories in any way, shape, or form. Memories. I remember conversations. I remember gestures. I remember beautiful, loving, kind words. I remember those things, and it raises my vibration. So very beautiful. Okay. I have a new deck. I have a beautiful new deck. And we, and this is the, the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. The first time I've used it, and I'm so excited to see what it has to say today. Now, did I get the book? Because I don't know this deck that well. I did get the book. Okay, I may have to read what the book says about this one. Okay, on this Easter Sunday, the debut of the, the Oracle of Hidden Worlds. What? kind of beautiful message does this beautiful oracle deck have to share for us on its debut it's a little hard to shuffle a little hard because it's so brand new and i've you know obviously i've looked through 
each and every one of these cards, but, you know, until you've used them a bit, they're hard to shuffle sometimes. Alright, so I will just take, the, I'll take this one. Can't wait to see what it is. <gasps> Returning home, transition, life between lifetimes, and a loving welcome. Yes, we raise our vibrations on our way home. Oh, what a glorious day. On the day that Jesus was resurrected, he returned home. Is that not freaking amazing? Ah, I have goosebumpies all over, all over. Jesus returned home on this day after he was betrayed by all of those who confessed to love him. Wow. I think about returning home and I can't wait to see all of my loved ones. Can't wait. I know I'm here to do a job. I'm here to, to make, uh, help make uh, the planet a better place. That's all I care to do is raise the vibrations of the planet and make it a better place for all of us. And then someday I'll get to return home. It almost makes me want to cry just thinking about it. Beautiful. And there's those feathers. Sometimes I see feathers. I see orbs in the form of feathers. I also find feathers all the time. My grandmother leaves me feathers and at my first husband who passed away, um, who is also one of my biggest spirit guides, his name was Jake and he leaves me feathers in my pathway a lot. He was Native American, so it's very appropriate for him and so was my grandmother. My grandmother was Cherokee and my first husband, my son Brandon's dad, was a Nez Perce. They leave me feathers. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to pull oracle, an animal oracle card. An animal oracle card. Let's see what kind of ancient wisdom or what kind of wisdom, high vibrational wisdom that we can get from the animal oracle. This is another one that I haven't really had a chance to use, I think, one time in my high vibrational videos. I love this deck, by the way. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love the hidden worlds, the new hidden worlds. I love all my decks. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh, it's oh, look at that. Turn sideways on us. Look, ooh, and I got two. I got two animals. Ooh, oh wow. This makes sense. Yep. So here's the elephant. Leadership. The elephant. I have this is this is the geisha. I have this tattoo on my arm. And do you see behind? I feel like that's me doing what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to lead and raising the vibrations of the planet. Yes. Leadership. Follow me as we go higher with our vibrations, you guys. Let's do it. You are, all, you are also very welcome to join me. Oh, wow. And we got Butterfly, the soul. Now, I feel like this is actually um, brought, to, brought in by Summer Moon, Utah Wells. She is a soul now, and she loves butterflies. She loved the butterflies, the purple and blue butterflies. Summer Moon is a soul that helps many, 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 many people now and has brought together a whole entire community of loving individuals who've raised their vibrations to try to help find her. But in the meantime, we've found love and a common ground with each other. And Summer wanted to join the Reed as well as Harmony and Oakley. Love it. Very beautiful card. The soul. That's because that's what we are. We are souls inside of a human body. 
and once our human body is finished, we return to our soul state. So as we're, while we're still here in our human body, let's raise the vibrations and um, treat others with kindness. And when someone does that for you, acknowledge it in the most loving way that you possibly can. And remember that whatever energy you put out will come back to you. So if you put out high vibrational energy, it will come back to you. And the souls, the souls, once they leave the human body and the restraints of our, our five little senses, they see a lot more than we do. And, and they, they tell us things. But yes, little summer moon wants us to raise our, high vib or raise our vibrations high. Love that. Love that. Okay, I've got one more I'm going to do. One more. And it is the Chakra. The Chakra Wisdom Oracle. I just wanted to pull a card on the Chakra um, Wisdom Oracle to, to see what which Chakra on Easter Sunday that we could possibly focus on. And I actually think I've just seen it in there. I've seen it. It flipped. I know I've seen it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, I see it. Okay. What chakra? Ooh, I love this. It's the orange. It's, oh my goodness. Orange is the color for MS. I was just talking to Andrea Wheatley on the phone last night forever. Thank you, Andrea, for being there for me. I love you so much, my MS warrior sister. We were just talking about how nobody, people don't really get it unless they have it, right? And, oh my gosh. So, orange is for the sacral chakra. And that is, and also the color for our, uh, for MS. And the oracle wisdom is telling us perseverance. We've got to persevere. Perseverance is a high vibrational state. When you pre persevere through hard times, you are that you have to remain high vibrational to do it. So, perseverance is a beautiful, beautiful message from the Chakra Oracle Wisdom. Love it. And very appropriate for me. Look, Andrea, it's me and you. The MS sisters, the MS warriors. Love it. All right, guys. That concludes my Easter Sunday high vibrational read. I want you all to know that I love you very much. And thank you so much for your time and your energy. And thank you for following me as I do my life soul path. And I raise the vibrations of the planet to the very best of my ability. And thank you, beloved Jesus, for the sacrifice you made for us. For the sacrifice you made for us. So that we could be forgiven of all the sins that we continually commit. Love you guys. Namaste.